Hey guys, this is Lesson 25, and let's go ahead and get started. So, um, we're asked to calculate the circumference, right? And we are given this formula right here. Or C stands for circumference, and R stands for radius, right? And we know that pi is 3.14, right? So, number one, we're given the diameter of 8.6, but we need radius, right? And, but we know that the diameter is 2 times the radius, right? And so to get the radius, we just do 8.6 divided by 2, which is 4.3. Okay, so now that we have our radius, let's go ahead and plug that into our formula. So we have circumference equals 2 times 3.14 times 4.3. So 2 times 3.14 equals 6.28, 6.28 times 4.3 equals 0, 0, 0, that's 4, uh, 18, that is 2, 1, Okay, add it all up, 0, 4, 10, 10, 7, 2, okay, and then our decimal point goes there. And so our circumference is, let's just round it up, and then, I mean, round down, right? So we get 27 meters. Okay, how about number 2? Well, we're given the radius, so let's go ahead and plug that into our formula. Again, circumference equals 2 times 3.14 times 9.3. So, again, that's 6.28. And then 6.28 times 9.3 equals... Um, let's again, zero, zero, zero. Uh, and then, that's four. Eight, eight, and then that's two. Five. And then, six, six. Add it all up. Sorry, I'm running out of space, but that's zero. Four, zero, four, and sixty-eight, and then our decimal point goes there. So again, we're gonna round down, and then our circumference is fifty-eight. Oh, fifty-eight meters or inches. Sorry. Okay. So using this formula. C equals 2 pi r. Go ahead and finish the second page. And then let's move on to our third page. And we are asked to find the area of triangles. Okay? And so first, we're going to do vertices, so we, we have to graph them. So the corners are given negative 1 and negative 10, 2, 4, 8, 10. And then the second coordinate is negative 1 and then 9, so that's 9. And then that's negative 1. Negative 10, negative 1, 9, 10, and negative 7, 2, 4, 6, 7, and then negative 9, so that's there, okay? And then we connect the lines. So, 
Okay. And we know that since that's 90 degrees, we know that this is a right triangle, right? So here we're given the formula. A, which stands for area, right? Area equals one half times base times height. So what's the height? Well, that's nine units and that's 10 units, right? So all together, the height is 19 units. And how about the base? That is, that's two, four, six, six units, okay? So let's plug those values in to the formula. So area equals one half times base, which is six, times height, which is 19, okay? And so that's three. One half times six is three, and then three times 19. is 57 so the area is 57 units squared okay so again using the formula right here go ahead and finish the rest of the questions and for Let's look at some word problems together. So number one, um, a boat travels 411 kilometers in 17 hours with a constant speed. How much time will it take traveling 102 kilometers? Okay, so this is a proportion question, right? So we travel 411 kilometers in 17 hours and we want to know how much time it will take when traveling 102 kilometers so we cross multiply right cross multiply we get 411x equals 102 times 17, 102 times 17, that's 417, and then uh, that's 201, we get 1734. Divide both sides by 411. Just plug that into your calculator and we get 4.21. And round it up, we get 4.22 hours. Okay? Okay, well, how about number two? So, to all this, and number two says 12 kilograms of apples cost $24. How many kilograms of apples can you get with $78? So, with $78, right, how many apples can you get? How many kilograms of apples can you get? So again, cross multiply. Plus 24x equals 78 times 12, uh, which is 936. Okay, divide both sides by 24. And then we get x equals 39. Okay, so 39 kilograms of apples. 
we can get 39 kilograms of apples for $78. Okay. So that's it. Go ahead and finish the worksheet. And here's the answer key.